Hey there and welcome back to Crocbox. Today we've got uh, set number 75259 or named Snowspeeder, which is simply, which is one of the 20th anniversary editions released in 2019. Uh, in the UK this was priced at £35 and currently can resell for the same. Uh, there are 309 pieces in it, which puts it at a rough 11.3 pence a piece, which is relatively good because these are quite basic pieces apart from the few obvious there. Uh, this is a recreation of set 7130 also known as Snowspeeder which was from one of the original wagons in 1999. Uh, that Lando Carissian figure is a reproduction from the 2003 set known as uh, Cloud City, that one. And if we move on to the first main piece of this set, the actual snow speeder. So we take a few figures out and look at them in a bit. Uh, it's quite a normal looking thing. Uh, probably one of the, in my opinion, the better snow speeders, apart from the obvious UCS one. Uh, its rough size is about five centimeters in height, um, 18 centimeters in length, so from front to back, and 14 from the width here and here. Uh, if you, oh, the set itself is quite a, it's a displayable piece I think, but then at the same time it's very playable. Uh, it has many features such as the obvious, this opens and you can fit two figures in there, which are accompanied in this set. You get the, uh, uh, the, the, the stud shooter. There. At the back you get two spring loader missiles, which you see before, and you get this winch. So if you have the ATAT or imagine playing with it, uh, or any other ships, you can tow them or knock them down really easily. There's also the, you've got two guns on the front, which are like the, where these actually fire from in Star Wars lore. And uh, it's quite a fun build. It's a very easy one, I think, because you get. If we take these apart. There we go. Not, not supposed to do that much, but it comes in three main pieces. You get this bit. It reminds you sort of the X Wing style cockpit. And then you get that. And then you get the two side pieces of this, which are both identical but mirrored except this one piece here which is like a sloped grade over an orange whereas this just has an ink like just a white piece there and they connect via these little hinge pieces very easily like so they go on much easier than they come off if i can actually get this on there you go they do go on easier I just can't do it. Uh, and then if we get a little close up into the uh, part of the ship and where they see you get the obvious front seat there. Uh, this set has uh, a weird like T position there which their legs go either side of so they don't actually slot in there. Well they just slot in there I mean. They don't actually click in like with uh, two studs. Uh, there's a nice, I believe, printed piece there. Or is it? No, no, there's a sticker. Uh, control panel. You get the, just this little bit for one of the guns to go in. It comes with one of the minifigures. I prefer keeping them there though. Uh, and then this is the other seat, which you can see the studs in there, but they don't actually sit on them. It's more like a back seat here. And then obviously you get a bit of storage for the lightsaber and the two pistols. If we have a look at this bit here, uh, uh, this pretty bit back on the tripod. So this whole thing, there's, there's two hinges on, and one here, which is the main one for lifting the whole thing up, and then you get two more like socket ones here, I think they're called, uh, which uh, you two don't do that. This is how you're meant to open it. I believe, so you can access the main pilot, which is going to be Luke, I believe, and then you open this side up, 
So then it creates like a right angle. And then you can put the other, the, your co-pilot in there, which is deck, I believe, or DAC. And then you get another sticker piece there, which lines up nicely with where he sits as a sort of his display and stuff. Which is very good, I think. Because you're not never going to see that, really, by in line there. Except it's a very small angle. This is the other part of the set. This is the like, turret, I believe. We'll have a look at the more figures in a minute. And there's two little sections here. You get the large old style lego gun which just clips onto that two by two with the stud in the middle and then you get a little one by one clip here with the binoculars going like so uh, the footprint of this is uh, i believe so it's eight centimeters high uh, and then both the width and length are six centimeters at their widest which is here and here and it is yeah so it's all good Anyway, uh, main play the main playability feature of this is the obvious turret in the middle, which goes in this little, what would that be, a little spinny dish thing, got a big one, uh, which then this clips onto, which you could probably take that off and put something else there, another turret. Uh, and so this turret is quite a big brick build, I think. It's got the two dish bits there, which are nice. Oh, now I've broken it. So, uh, that's the front one look. You get the obvious, you get a little flick fire missile there, which is just like a turret bit where this is firing from. You get the stud, another stud thing there, so you can fire from there. Same as with the, on the back of the ship there. And you get this little imaginary thing here. Which is very playable, which is what you get the Rebel Hoff Trooper, or can be anyone really, look straight there and they're like, okay, fire there. You get a little swivel backwards and forwards there. And yeah, again, 360 turns on that. And then with this, if you want it to look better, you can take that off and replace that with a little cheese wedge there. Obviously, in this that same grey. So now on two of the minifigures. First up we've got uh, Luke Skywalker, if we zoom in here. Uh, he's in his Rebel Outfit version. This is the, I believe, only set he comes in, in this style. Um, he, his figure ID is uh, 991. He's got his little visor up and down on either side of his little worried look. Nice little helmet on top which is red you can see the little strap there though which, which is okay because that can just be oh that's where the helmet goes but back print in uh front print in leg print in and waist print in which is nice and he comes with his obvious blue light seal like light, light blue lightsaber bit of a mouthful Move on to this other minifigure. Uh, his name is Dak Roltus with his ID is 1025. He's an exclusive to this set. Oh no, Luke is not an exclusive. Just saying, he's in a few other sets. This one is an exclusive and he comes with two of these little blasters. His body is his his body is identical to that of Luke's. The only difference is their head, like the face print. And the helmet prints, or like the helmet colours mainly. Dax is much simpler in the back of his head. He has a worried look, but the visor's still down, just to differentiate them. And then we move on to the third figure, which is this Rebel Hoff Trooper. Well, not Trooper, but Rebel, just Rebel Hoff dude. Uh, he has this nice, like, shiny badges on the front of his torso. Uh, just plain, I believe, sand coloured or tan coloured leg pin leg leg piece, same with his hat, which is a nice sort of mould, which we've seen before in other sets. And he's obviously got his little goggles that can go up and down. Uh, that's his face, very basic, no back face. And if we 
take this backpack piece off, which is quite cool, I think. Uh, he's got a little bit of back printing. He's just got that little shiny little bit there at the top. And he's got a waist piece sort of above the actual waist of the figure, which I suppose is cheaper to make, but a bit odd. Because you could have got the... If it was around, I'm not sure if it was around at the time, but there was the Lego Batman movie um, waist piece that goes in there, which makes up a new little utility belt, which would really look nice, I reckon, with this in a different colour. But it's good enough, it's, it's a cheaper set, and he's not really a very good figure in like, the eyes of the rest of them. The main good figure of this set, I believe, though, Lando Carissian. And if I maneuver the camera a bit better, there we go. Uh, you can see him in his whole glory. As I said before, this is the Lando Carissian like remake almost from the 2003 uh, Cloud City set, which he had the uh, which was exclusive to that set. I believe it is a different like material though. I've never seen that one in person, but it's got the double layered cape, blue and yellow. The blue obviously matches his torso piece. Uh, that's his face, and I do believe, nope, he has not got a face print on the back. He's got the very basic hair, obviously. Very basic printing on his torso front there. He's only got black legs. He's got the old ball horn blaster, which is nice to see. And then he has the 20 years Lego Star Wars logo. And then the same as the rest of them, he has a nice little stand, which comes with the two by four black piece to connect to the others, which I shall show you in a second. An example of that, you get the Lego Carissian really clean font there, which looks very nice. And if we pop him back on there, like so, with his cape up in the air, and we pull on Han Solo from the uh, one of our previous reviews, you then clip him in there, like that. Obviously you can hide the end ones there, and they look really nice like that. They don't come apart, nothing like that. It's really strong, even though it's just that one brick there. And yeah, they look very nice like that. So my final thoughts on this set are, it's a very good set, I think, for the playability, obviously. If you've got a young kid, they can play with this very easily, very imaginative sort of set. And it's also, I think, a great sort of display piece, because it's a two-scale, I believe, with the figures. And we have a head rolling. Uh, and that, this would be good for, like, the Hoth Echo Base, I believe, like, if you wanted to make your own one. This is a good sort of size as a turret. I believe the actual ones are much larger than this though. Which, you know, it's up to you really. I don't mind this sort of size if I was making an echo base. Because from what I remember, this is roughly the same size as the Attack on Hoff echo base. The UCS set, which not the best set, but I believe that's from that. Sort of. Um, and... A lot of this is stickers on here. I don't believe there is actually any printed pieces on this, which is a bit of a let I think. Oh, and that's another thing to bring up. This is here and here. It is one of the weakest things in Lego I've ever seen. I don't know if it's because I built it wrong, which I don't see how, because it's a very basic little bit here. But this, you just, you can't even open this bit here without that snapping. There you go, snap somewhere else. So, yeah. So if you, if the kids are getting this, you've got to be very careful. This is going to be snapped very often, which could even lead to the breaking of the brick. Which, not good. Oh, uh, and about the printed pieces, that is the only printed piece there, I believe. Even though that. It looks more like a sticker piece because that does not look straight on there. If I can get that up closer, but yeah. So I've learned to put that back together from playing with it. But yeah. Oh, and there is these the little pieces here. In one of these either side, little sticker there. So that they're sliding down, obviously, makes for a hole. 
Uh, my final thoughts on this though are that it's a very good set, obviously. Uh, I don't think it's worth the £35 price tag, obviously, because you get the Lionel Carithian and the 20th anniversary like, the theme runs with it. That's going to like boost the price up quite a bit. But I think if you, if you can find this for like maybe 30 or anything under that, yeah, definitely. A very good set. You could even get multiple to fill out your set of them. And that's been it. This has been Crop Blocks. And why not watch one of these other reviews on screen now? Goodbye.